with your body on a, on a, on a battlefield, right? When you come here to attack me and do dumb shit, it's a battlefield, but I don't, I don't fight a war on a battlefield. What do you I don't fight on the field. Spiritually? I don't, Quant I don't know how to explain it. Quantumly? I don't fight on a battlefield. Where do you fight? Anyway? In the mind. In the mind. You can kill me today. Right, you kill me right now. And I'll still be fighting. And so it's like, you can't, like, I don't think they understood, but they got it. Like, fucking kill me. Go ahead. Kill me. Kill me. Come, fuck, keep coming. You're, you're, you're stacking my arsenal for when I do finally die. Kill me. Be successful. What do you think? If they do finally kill you, then what? You've got what? After that, what, do you, what would you do? If you think that you continue on in some for any form of life, how it doesn't do you, matter. How, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you, but it matters to everyone who's still alive. Because you're gone, you're dead to us. You're not dead to you. You're dead to us. Yeah, but my, I'm dead to you with a bunch of information in your guys' hands, and you, you don't have as much information as other fucking people do. Mm. Oh, like it, like. Go, keep coming. Keep attacking me. They, they, literally, the American military has showed the whole fucking world they're rapists, suicide, like just fucking disgusting animal fuckers. Keep coming. I mean, all of this. You're fucking, they're sacrificing other soldiers. You know, other soldiers were sent here to kill me. Hunt me. And they're like, what are you doing here? We're supposed to kill you. That's from their fucking mouth. Like, there's a fucking whole fucking gaggle of you guys. You're supposed to kill me? Like, I, I'm a dick. Like, I don't say a dick, but I'm just blunt. I'm like, can I have a knife? Can I have a fucking butter knife? Can I have a spoon? Give me a fucking spoon. Like, like and I just, in their face, like, there's fucking over a dozen of you guys. I can't have a fucking spoon? That happened. Make it that over a dozen people have come for you? What'd they do? Just psychological torture? They didn't actually try to kill you? Did they give you a spoon? Did you try to fight back? Because you said you wouldn't fight on a physical battlefield to fight in heaven. But do you think they, they might have told you they're here to kill you? Do you think that they weren't? Because if they were, why did No, they, they, they toy with you. You don't understand. Some people are sadistic. Yeah. Once they're given the, like, I, I know that, like, some people, they show up and you, you watch them. They play with their bait. They play with their prey. They're fucking gross. But are they just, are they just uh, like, taking orders from someone else who wants you dead? If they don't kill you when they've been sent to kill you, do they go back and get in trouble for not killing you? Well, they don't go back. Where do they go? They get buried. I don't know. They put in a hole. I have no idea. They don't go back. So the ones that do go back, listen, listen, and the ones that do go back, I tell them. What do you tell them? Why are you the only one making it back? Would you have anything to say as the fucking sole survivor? Have a good day. I don't know. I say whatever I say. They're fucking you ever wondered why, if they come to kill you, that they don't? Just to toy with you, you think? Well, it, yeah, and it's not, it's not successful, if that makes sense. It's it not that they haven't it. tried, it's just that it's a lot of failed attempts. But it doesn't get somewhere. It's not that they, they haven't tried, it's just failed attempts. You get a bunch of men in a room that are egotistical, raping a fucking woman and a child, and you're fucking on the floor bleeding to death. And they think you're dead. You're dying. I'm lying on the floor dying. Now that I'm, now that I'm fucking dying and I can't breathe, can I have a spoon? Not yet. Not yet. Now that you've stamped on my head with your boots, can I have a spoon? No, not yet. When's the last time that happened? Do you think they're still trying? Mm -hmm. Been a while. They're mm -hmm. obviously still aware of you. Oh yeah, I talk about it on the internet. Fucking guy, he, I think it was a older version of Tyler Cody came on. They come on every once in a while. You know, I, I, you know, I, gaslighting Stockholm syndrome. What did they? Then you think about what have they done successfully? They showed the entire world they will do whatever it takes to protect child rapers and animal fuckers. Gaslighting me. Stockholm syndrome. Fucking murder. Whatever it takes for money.
What's with my, 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 what, in the, in the, we get to the very nitty gritty. I have information that some people think they can make money off of. And it was, it was worth doing all kinds of fucking atrocities. Is that why maybe you think they didn't kill you that they might want your information? Or use you, not even for information? They, they, rest of it. they don't have the rest. That's what I guess. It's, they don't have the rest of it. I get to the same spot every time. I, I, I give out what I know what was stolen already so that they can pretend to write it. I just, I repeat the same shit that I know was stolen already, depending on what I figure out was taken or not from the first time. And then I'm like, am I free? Are we free? Or am I going to fucking be beaten, raped again for the world to see? How many, how many people is the, is the president and the, the fucking police and the, how many people are going to come to torture me and my wife today? How many, how many people are going to die this year? Have you always so, 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 so the chain of command that Lewis McCord can fuck some animals. That's fucking nuts. And a base full of fucking animal fuck and children fuckers. How many people are going to kill me this year so you guys can fuck more children? That's nuts. That Keep fucking children. I don't know. I guess what happens when they come? The creator shows up. I remember that. Thing. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're protected. Could be that. Well, look, man. Um, five a.m. in the morning. I think I started talking to you about two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, um, three. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About two hours ago, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let someone else come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. And it was, it no was, it was real good talking to you. You've, you've, you've put a lot of new insights into my head. Oh, I'll keep, uh, I'll, I'll stay a follower. I'll keep watching you. I'll keep commenting. You have a great day. You too, man. God bless. Hi. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty okay today. Um, wow, this is really cool. Hold on, let me take a screenshot. Wow, okay. Um, what do you think about next year? How do you think it's going to play out? What specifically? Um, you know, like the COVID vaccine that's coming out, the inauguration of uh, Joe Biden, um, things like that in general, the policing system, how things are going to change with the new president. You know, there's a lot more awareness in the youth going into this new uh, political environment. And, and um, that's where change will happen with you guys. Yes. If that makes sense. It does. So um, I'm not sure. It's all in your guys' like literally. I just keep dumping balls in the, into your guys' court. People keep right. putting the ball in your guys' court. It's truly whatever you guys do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we, you have the power. You have the power to fix things, and people don't really understand like. We've never had, the general population has never had the power they have today. Right. We've always been told you have some power. You have, but we never really did. And we actually do now. And it's yes. getting, we actually do have power now. Because of everything becoming smaller thanks to the internet, the world is becoming so close. Especially with the COVID, uh, everyone's been closer than ever since, you know, because everyone's online now. You now know, we're like, yeah, it's like now COVID. We're closer, yeah. Everybody's interconnected. Everybody's learning. It's yeah. harder to suppress. Yes, because everybody readily available online now. Nobody is too held up by work anymore. So everybody has their eyes on the news and everything going around. Yep. So I mean, you have we have the opportunity for some really great change. Yeah. You know, I but <laughs> with change comes chaos right you can't have yes. something new without destroying something old yes 
but we, you know, as long as we, as long as you guys move at a relatively good pace, you guys start literally adopting green technology and stuff like that. You know, if you can't, you can't chip away at the ego of somebody who just wants power, but you mm-hmm. can't chip away at the resources that give them power. Right. Right. And that's what, that's what people understand. The green new deal. What does green tech, green energy and things like that do for America? It yes. puts power back in your hand. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Exactly. Like since, uh, things like coal and the big industries like that are controlled by people and like using green energy and the things that are this and readily available helps yeah. a lot. <laughs> right. Think about it. Once, what in the, Green energy. Once you once green energy starts getting the amount of jobs it should have and the market saturations it should have, then they get now we get, then they get the lobbying power of big oil and in, mm-hmm. in, in the coal industry. And then all of a sudden, the green the green new deal that the, the AOC spoke about, you know, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, all, people all over ambitious. Not really. Once those things start taking effect, it's like a it's like a snowflake at the top of a mountain. Yeah. Rolling down the hill just starts gathering momentum. You be like Green New Deal. Pretty soon, there's a there's a lot of green jobs, and they need a union. And that yep. union, that union union needs some representatives. The, those representatives need a lobbyist, right? And those lobbyists now can compete with or out compete big oil and the coal industry. But you know, right. but that's what I mean. Like change, we can get there. But we we ha- we have to we have to um, understand how to get there. Right. Like you can't just, there's the goal. Hopefully, someday we'll get there. No. There's yeah. the goal, and the like green green energy and things like that. It will it it, it will build the coffers of your lobbyists. Mm-hmm. And so like, now this is what people don't understand: big oil and 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 coal industry and far- big pharma and medicine and things like that. They law lo- they're, they're aligned with lobbyists and their lobbyists are aligned with their own personal interest not green technologies we have to keep the environment good for green technologies so keeping the environment in their best interest because they're green technologies results in you having a better environment you having a better life it, yeah. tri- it, it truly then you get you actually get that trickle down in economics right and also but it, then, uh, since our generation has a higher like quality of education now since it's so readily available in our hands right now. We're all learning so much more, and as we learn more and get those jobs and higher like in green energy and stuff like that, unemployment rates go down, the economy goes back up, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, but like the economy, mm-hmm. right? We're the people have no idea. Our economy has been. Uh, manipulated yes, into a state of failure at yes. the whim of foreign countries. Yes. Now, that's very scary to know a foreign country can just yank, yank the, the carpet out from under the entire American population at, at a whim. Like, yes. I'm cranky today. Tank the American economy. You think about green new deals and, and, and green energy and stuff like that. We don't rely on the rest of the world for anything. Yeah, no more. Like, you know? okay, right, so we, we put a windmill in Oregon or wherever you put it. And I need my power bill. here. It doesn't matter what they're doing in, in China mm-hmm. to a degree, right? Because I am yeah. still I still have to pay my electric bill, right? I still need power, which means the, the employees in Oregon where that, where that windmill is still have a job, no matter how yeah. the global economy goes. Exactly. Like, gosh, it's so weird to think about that kind of stuff because – People like uh, view America on this big platform, like big best country in the world, stuff like that. You know, such crazy like patriotism. You know, it's insane to me that people, uh, you know, think we have so much power, but really we're not. You know, especially after this uh, term, it's just uh, been a big mess a lot of the time. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, you know, it'll be interesting. I'm very interested to see what you guys do. I talk about um, metadata. You know, uh, we can track today. Every kid who's ever uh, learned about a lobbyist from me 
we can look in their, their Microsoft logs, their search engine from Google. They looked at a lobbyist. When did they hear about it? From Martin. We'll track what ha- you know, s- track w- w- what what's going to happen with this information. What is the yeah. world doing? You know what I mean? It's a big, huge experiment. People don't understand. Like, they don't understand the depth and breadth of my experiment. Yes, it's insane. Like, the amount of reach you have to other people now, it's insane, you know? Like, uh, and how people are learning just from one person like you, Martin, it's insane to me, you know? Well, I, like learn a, from, I learn from you guys. I learn from the world. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, yeah. It's like a you, give and take almost. Yeah. When I, but, yeah, m- metadata, we'll, we'll be able to see you know, what you guys do. Right. Yeah. And, 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 you know, never, ever have we lived in an era where we could document what every single one of you guys did. So you're, you're, you think about this, your kids are going to look back and go, did my mom support the laws that are, that, that led to the plague of cancer today in the world? Mm-hmm. Or did my mom fight against the, the, the plague of cancer? And yes. That's rebelling against it. Yeah. Now people don't understand what I mean. Like, you don't have to. Right? Your your parents didn't have to do anything because nobody could check if they did or they did. Right? Nope. Your parents could turn the other cheek and allow bad shit to happen because we could never check on them. Yeah. Well, the the internet is here. We can mm-hmm. we we can tell. Right. It, 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 when, when your grandkids go up, they're going to be able to go. My grandma and grandpa voted to give the whole country heart disease, or my, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. The influence you have now, it's like seen by everyone. Yeah, and not only see it can be checked. Yeah, in the future, and that's what pe- I, I don't think people understand. I'm like, I you know I in t- kids are slowly w- warming up and waking up. I've had some kids today, you know, they're a, young adults now, and they I wanted to get a job at Boeing. I wanted to get a job at DARPA. I wanted to get a job at MIT. I wanted a job at, at Google. I wanted a job at NASA. I wanted a job at Microsoft. They somewhere, and I didn't get it, Martin. And he goes, "You want to know? And you want to know why I didn't get it? No." My background check on social media showed up on your account. Wow! I, just, I go and like, well, all I do, all I did for the first year that I saw you, every time I came, you came on your feed, I talked about you know, racist. I was a racist, you know, talking, you know, hating on black people, or you know, I kept mm-hmm. showing my genitalia, or I kept mooning, and now they won't hire me. I'm like, huh? Makes sense. <laughs> I'm like. Now uh, that's just to uh, think about this. Like, that's what your your employer was able to, to. Somebody wanted to give you a job, and, and they were able to go on the pay some. It's Microsoft. They didn't even have to pay anybody or Google, no, Facebook. They, they, yeah, they could do it themselves. They went. Dip, 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 dip. Hey, you like to show your penis on the internet? No job. Or you like to yeah. talk about? No job. And, and, and you go, okay. What did your What did your dad talk about on the internet? Racist and penises as well. No job. And so you go, yeah. now we're getting somewhere. So your your dad did that. You did that. Your your son did that. And your son's son did that. Now we just have eight genera- You know, we have eight generations. So that's what you guys do when nobody's looking. Yeah, it's like... Ooh. You, 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 they talk about, the, the, you know, social structures. Uh, 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 AI right now can literally put you in a social... We know not to waste even the energy to advertise college degree colleges to you. All you do is yeah. look at porn. You see what I'm saying? We're not even yeah. going it, to... It's... At Walmart, they have a urinal in the men's restroom mm-hmm. to save a half a gallon of water every time somebody would pee in the toilet and flush the toilet. You pee in yeah. the toilet and you flush the toilet, it wastes gallons of water. You pee in a urinal, yeah. it saves a little bit of money. Right. Per guy. You know, five five or six cents a flush per person. That's nothing. Right. Yeah. Now, they also send you commercials that cost more than their water bill. They're so concerned about bills, they put a urinal in to save water when I pee. Now, they're also spending money on electricity, advertising firms, collecting resources to give me knowledge. Mm-hmm. Are they going to spend it? Send? Are they going to spend the money sending me that information if all of my lineage is addicted to porn? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? No, I could never see that happening. But you, but but before they didn't know what I did in the off. They just had to take a gamble. We got to send it, to Martin. And they got to yeah. send it to you. They didn't know. 
Nope. But now they can. Now they can, though. They and, and do. Now we're getting somewhere. Now they can and now they do. I'm so sorry. I've never had an advertisement for, for college on my phone. Well, what do you look at? I go, oh, Pornhub. Da, 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 da. I'm like, you've never had, you want to go to college and you don't even know where to apply and, and you've never had a commercial. I'm like, here's a girl I speak to and she gets a commercial every day for college. Now that college thought she was worth the half a cent to send it to her, but you're not worth it. Now, now we're getting somewhere. A computer decided some men aren't even worth advertising college anymore. A yeah. computer went, these men are so stupid. It's not worth our time. Think about that. A freaking robot goes, nope. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> now, you think about how scary that is. A computer program, an algorithm, some ones and zeros decide you're not worth advertising college. Well, shit, what else aren't they advertising? What else aren't they, what else weren't you worth? What else did the computer, the system, decide you weren't worth? You don't know, do you? You don't know. Does that make sense? I'll let her. I hope she comes back on. I, thanks for coming on, Reese. But what else did the computer think you weren't worth? This is like high school kids today. How many? Any of you guys in school today? How many advertise commercials did you get for college? Now, how many did you get advertised uh, for lotion, perfume, cologne? Right, let's bring someone. It's not the only way, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. You can access info, but I'm just saying. If a computer has, you think about it, training you, right? Yeah, we have to train you to learn things and do things. Yo. Yeah, so, so listen, real, real quick, before before your, we get going. Yep. So your parents had to teach you how to tie your shoe, correct? Before you learned how to tie your shoe? Correct. Now, today, technology can teach you a lot of things your parents were required to teach you, correct? That's true. And now, your parents actually expect your technology to teach you things that they don't teach you anymore. It's an expectation. I expect my child to teach you things, or to, to learn things from computers without actually um, me having to teach them, right? Right. Agree. So, so today, when do your parents telling you telling you to log on to a college website and watch their commercials? Uh, all the time. They, but, 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 but for the majority of people, when are their parents telling them you need to get on this on these college websites and and look at their commercials and read their information? Not very many, right? Not very much. No, literally never. Right, because the computer's expected to do that. Now, right. my computer advertises commercials for college every single day. Okay. So the AI, a computer com program sitting somewhere at Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, until every computer algorithm in the world who, that does advertising has decided Martin should get information on scientific journals in college. Right. And I ask, what do you get advertised? Um, I mean, like, it's a, it's a bunch of things sometimes, you know, like, uh, like, I get, like, McDonald's ads and, and shit, you know? Yeah, but, but name some, like, name things. I mean, yeah, I can't really name anything off the top of my head. But see what I'm saying? Now, look, get somewhere. If you think I, about the things, they're, they're advertisements for you to purchase things. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, most of the time, yeah. Most see what I'm now listen. Artificial intelligence has labeled you as a consumer, a slave, somebody somebody makes money off of. I'm a slave. It, but not to be mean, but even think about it. It advertises you things that, that somebody else can sell you and make money off of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, there's other kids in your school today where it doesn't do that. It advertises them college, right. free resources, investments. They, our, our computer has deemed them a creator, somebody who right. makes things for you to purchase. So you're 
you are deemed by a computer something somebody else uh, uh, as the consumer for somebody else without humans deciding it. Right. That's scary, don't you think? Yeah, pretty scary. A computer can just decide from you're a child. So you get an, uh, a YouTube account, you get your Facebook, your 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 Microsoft from a from a from a kid, right? Your email. Yeah. So all the way from now, I guess from kindergarten on up, since you've had a smartphone, AI has been assessing you, assimilating you, gathering your metadata. Yep. And it has decided to not even waste the electricity it would it would take to show you a commercial for college. It won't even show it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it already knows you weren't even worth advertising for college. The AI did this. Looking at what you do on your in your free time, AI did this. A, a computer did this. You weren't even worth it. Now, your children. Yeah. Their metadata is, is created off of a foundation of yours. You already showed artificial intelligence to ignore your genetics when it comes to education and being nice. You're not a nice person. You don't deserve information. You're, you're not the psychology that, that should be given that. Now that right. your child is born and your child actually has a real handicap by AI. Yeah. Right? I mean, right? AI goes, this is the child of Bob. Bob, we already determined 40 years ago to be not worth educational information from college. Bob's son is definitely not worth that shit. Now, right. now Bob's son might. Now your kid might be born worth it, and now your kid has to spend its whole life digging out of the fucking hole you created, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But AI could also help uh, you grow, isn't that right? Yeah, now we're getting somewhere, right? Now, as I yeah. said, now but your son might actually be somebody worth advertising compute computer shit to, college stuff to. So AI now has to spend a bunch of years digging your, your your son and AI together have to spend a few years digging out digging the hole or getting themselves out of what you put them in. Right, there's You're a lot of all of your damage. There's a lot of pluses and negatives with AI. All right. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good stuff and a lot of bad stuff. And I'd say like it's probably sixty percent bad stuff and maybe like forty percent <laughs> positive, right? Mm-hmm. Right, because it could help you grow from uh, from like how to videos on YouTube, you know, how to do this, how to do that. If you're if you don't want to talk to your parents, right? Yeah, well, so, but yeah, but you're, you're, I'm, I'm, we're not talking about what you can do on your own. We're talking about what AI chooses to do for you that you don't know about. Now, think, now let's get. How do you know to look up neuroscience if you don't know anything about neuroscience? How do you know to look up botany if you don't know anything about botany? AI's decided. Yeah, you go not even give you the information. See what I'm saying? How do you know to look yeah. that stuff up if you've never been, if it's never right? I don't even know. They said now we get somewhere. Yeah. Did you know that there's a college called the University of Waterloo? Uh, no. What? Because AI decided you don't even need to know that college exists. Yeah, I guess that. Right? You see, listen to this. AI has decided you don't need to know that college even exists. You don't yeah. even have the intelligence to make it on the radar for a commercial. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. A human didn't decide that. A computer program went, this guy's intelligence isn't even worth wasting the time to let him know this college exists. Yeah. Just <laughs> and that's where like, people don't understand how shit works. And why, why does AI do that? Because humans do that. We look around and go, this person deserves this information, but doesn't deserve that. These people over yeah. here don't deserve that, but they deserve this. And I AI just followed it home. Yes. Waterloo Sunset is fine. <laughs> so, uh, there's a window. Yeah, there you go. There's a window. Anyways, I'm going to get off for a minute. I'll be back on in a little bit. God bless. Hey, I love you, Martin. Thank you so much. God bless. God bless.